Holyrood has laid bare its concerns over draconian plans by Westminster to create a new UK internal market after Brexit. Scottish Constitution Secretary Mike Russell made the statement to Holyrood today pledging he would fight tooth and nail against Westminster plans it has branded a blatant power grab. Business Secretary Alec Sharma published the White Paper earlier this month which will see measures which were previously managed by the EU return to the UK at the end of the year when the Brexit transition period expires. The 160 policy areas including animal welfare, public procurement rules and environmental regulations will now go to one or more of the devolved administrations. UK ministers have said the return of powers to the UK from Brussels will see the Northern Ireland administration receive responsibility in 157 of the 160 areas, Scotland in 111 and Wales in 70. But Nicola Sturgeon's administration says the terms will pose the biggest threat to devolution since Holyrood was established. But speaking in Holyrood, Mr Russell said, every single power that the Scottish Parliament has can be undermined and taken away by these proposals. Every single one. Powers over food labelling, food manufacturing and hygiene, animal welfare, recycling and environmental matter could all be affected, he said. Mr Russell argued the impact of the proposals in the UK government's internal market bill will mean Westminster and not Holyrood will determine the standards of goods and services produced in Scotland. He said, what the UK government wants is not smooth trade but to take back control, and not just from the EU but from the people of Scotland and Wales and Northern Ireland. And it certainly does not want anything to stand in its way as it willfully dismantles the high quality system of regulation and protection we inherit from our years in the EU. He claimed there is no commitment in the proposals for the UK government to seek the consent of Holyrood for the changes. But Mr Russell said the legislation requires the express consent of MSPs, adding, the Scottish government will be recommending in the strongest possible terms that this parliament does not give any such consent. He added, the Scottish government is committed to cooperation but it will not be bullied. There are alternatives to these ill-conceived proposals, including taking the Voluntary Common Frameworks program to its anticipated conclusion.